Good morning guys, today is mm, Tuesday and it's just a day at home today. I'm wearing lots of makeup because I'm hopefully gonna film today, although my neighbors downstairs have moved out, which we thought was weird, and that's because they're getting their bathroom redone. So I don't know how long it's gonna go on for, but there's really, really loud drilling right below me. So that's a bit annoying, but it seems to have stopped. So I'm gonna try and film maybe. My friend Maz, or Marielle is her proper name, who you guys might remember from our wilderness vlog. She's gonna come over for lunch. Our sofa's getting delivered today, which is so exciting. I think we're gonna get some cupboards made at some point. There's quite a lot going on, although I'm not actually leaving the flat all day. I've just been getting ready and listening to some music, trying to drown out the drilling. And I just took a selfie um, for breast cancer awareness where you show your bra strap. So that'll be on my Instagram if you guys wanna go see that. It's quite a, a nice way to kind of help promote a good cause. Very easy to do on social media. And obviously you can donate as well, which is really important. Oh no, the banging started again. I might try and set up to film and just try and like speak in between the banging. The banging has full on started again, so I'm going to delay filming. Um, yesterday I did Back to Mac, which is when you can take six empty Mac products back um, to kind of recycle and you get a free lipstick. So I picked this one. I always like to pick something that I haven't tried before um, instead of like repurchasing something because I know I'll get that anyway. Um, and I've never heard of this. It looks right up my street. It's called Fast Play. It's an amplified lipstick and that's what I'm wearing today. So I think I'm gonna take some photos and do a little blog post on it. What I'm having to do at the moment is use my personal hotspot on my phone. I'm with Vodafone, so I don't normally have unlimited data. I'm just on like a three month unlimited data thing, thank God. So I'm using my data from my phone and linking it to my computer so I have some kind of internet. It's obviously not strong enough for uploading videos, but it's fine for like writing blog posts. So that is what I'm gonna do now. I've just taken some photos of the lipstick and I'm gonna write a post for next week and check my emails and stuff. This is what a fig looks like inside. I eat it with the skin, because I think it's all really yummy. Um, it's very weird looking fruit, but it's so yummy. It's like kind of a savory fruit. I'm just taking my nail polish off, and this is the worst thing about taking off. This is Chanel Rouge Noir, like dark nail polish. It goes everywhere, and it just like smudges around your hand. It's so hard to get off. I haven't worn Essie Cocktail Bling in so long. I love this color. It's like a slightly lilac-y gray. Okay, I need to clear up a bit because this is where the sofa's gonna go. This is gonna be really weird to have a big sofa in here. It's gonna feel like suddenly we haven't got as much room as we thought we did, but I'm excited to have somewhere nice to sit. So now I need to like find somewhere for all my cushions and stuff. Space cleared and soon this space will be filled with hopefully a beautiful gray sofa. Okay, I'm just gonna put out some lunch for when Maz comes and I made a my quinoa salad, I've got a blog post for this. Um, so I made some of that last night, Rich took some to work, and then I bought like figs and parma ham and salami and mozzarella. That's what I'm gonna make. Maz is about to arrive and I've just seen the sofa turn up outside. I knew they would come at the same time. We ended up ordering our sofa from Multi York because we ordered one from m and It was like 900 quid, which is good for a sofa. Or maybe it was like, actually I think it was 600 pounds. Um, but it, we then realized that our entryway is too small to bring a sofa up and they don't put them through windows anymore because of health and safety. So we ended up ordering one from Multi York because it basically comes in pieces and they put it together in the flat. So um, I think for a sofa that needs to be put together, we found a really nice one because a lot of them weren't that comfortable. Um, so it's just arrived and they're now gonna, basically it comes whole and they've got to take it apart in the van and then put it back together in the flat. So that is what they're doing now. Taking my sofa apart in a van. This is my favorite type of lunch, quinoa salad, um, fig, parma ham salami, olives. I love these big green ones and I'm gonna cut up some mozzarella and sprinkle it on this. Ta-da! Delish. These olives are amazing, by the way. The sofa has been put together. It's huge, but it's comfy. I need just something comfy. It's nice and deep. It looks a bit weird. I need to, like, put stuff on it. It's a bit empty, but I'm happy with it. Maz is here now. Hello. And we're having our yummy lunch. And I wanted to tell you guys, I was going to wait till she was here, but Maz also has a YouTube channel. She's just, when did you start? A month ago. <laughs> like only a month ago. <laughs> My life is gone. <laughs> um, and she does like crafty DIY stuff and she, she's always been amazing and things like that. So I'm going to link her YouTube channel down below and you guys should go check out, check out her channel and give her some YouTube tips. Um, I'm trying to give her some tips but she's she's new. Yes, please. And <laughs> I'm just looking through my ranking book, the fuck you book, but it's basically just loads of different people swearing. Who else is in there? There's other people in here. <laughs> 
This is why I like to keep out very child appropriate for when my nieces and nephews come around. <laughs> You're teaching them well. I like that one. That one's like really That is a good one. <laughs> I really like her. Can I say, I just wanted to comment while I've got my camera out on your hair. Because oh, I love this. No, I love that oh, you genuinely have. Like I used to get this done in this Caribbean. <laughs> Where did you get those done? You do it yourself? No, I was at loads of festivals this year. So wilderness. Was, every festival I went to, I got a hair braid. I'm actually, but I'm going to do a video with the girl. Her name's Braids by M. I'm going to do a video. There with you her. go. Because I want to. When I tie. How my do hair you take out, them out? They're actually, they're like, they're um, plaited in. They're not done around the hair. Because oh, Anna said they're when she was, I think it was Anna or someone, just cut it. <laughs> she didn't realise the hair was like in the top of hair. No, look, they're all like tiny little braids. Oh, yeah. But um, when I tie my hair up, I want to have like loads coming up the top. Cool. So all, like, Such like, a hippie. I know. <laughs> this multi York left this with me is an actual tool for like getting like the material in. Like, really? There's a thing for that? What else can I use this for? Apparently, a doorstop. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Maz went to Columbia Flower Market and found a stationery shop. You know, guys know how much I love my stationery. Look at this. I feel like you can't even see how good it is. It's a gold plated. Well, it's not gold plated. It's like fake gold, right? Yeah. Gold Bic pen. Oh my God, it's beautiful. Can you refill it when it runs out? I'd be really so. sad. <gasps> I love that. I'm going to take Maz's photo now to add to my collection. Maz has just left and I'm loving the sofa. Oh, it's so nice to have a sofa. It's so comfy and deep. Oh, I'm just gonna like lie here and watch TV. Not now, at some point in my life. Oh, let's see how her photo came out. It's just, ah, cute. I just spoke to the builders downstairs and they said they finished at five, which is in like an hour. So I'm gonna do a bit of work and then prep and then film as soon as they leave. Okay, I'm gonna film a video. My boots haul, which I think you would have seen by now. I think I've got a small gap before. I've got a call at five. I think the builders have stopped. They've gone quiet, so I'm going to try and quickly film now. I still haven't figured out where my setup is, but I'm just going to sit here. We just have the builder here now because our boiler, for some reason, is here, which is such an awkward spot. Um, it had a huge cupboard all the way to the floor. We got rid of that because otherwise we wouldn't be able to put our TV here. So I think he's going to make a cupboard to like cover the boiler and have a spare cupboard here and then cover the pipes. We'll see how this goes. I still haven't managed to film and um, the guy's just gone outside. Um, this is happening now. They're trying to like, he's trying to build around this. So I haven't managed to film yet. Um, he's still building the cupboard and it's now like six o'clock. Oh, sun's going down. I'm hiding in the bedroom because I think it's really awkward to like watch the builder while he does his work. Um, but it's kind of like nearly seven now. I need to start making dinner. Rich is home. Hi. And this is what's been happening for the last like four hours. Um, this wooden panel that we're going to have to paint and the shell of a cupboard um, that took quite a long time and now dinner's nearly ready. Just roasting some veg in there um, and then I'm gonna eat and then probably film. I don't know how this lighting's gonna work but I'm gonna try my best. Tonight's dinner's not very adventurous, just a bit of roasted veg and fish. I filmed the entire video twice and then started editing it and I just wasn't happy with it. The light was just so bad and I was all rushy when I was doing it. And anyway, I've decided that I'm just gonna have to refilm it tomorrow morning quickly, edit and then go to Gleam and upload it with their internet. Um, which is a little bit annoying, but it's fine. Um, I'm enjoying just chilling on our nice new sofa now. I think that's all for today. So I'm gonna carry on vlogging on Sunday because we're getting a new puppy, so exciting. So I'll see you guys then. It's Sunday morning now, and I didn't do any fancy morning shots because I actually overslept and woke up and was like, ah, hair, makeup, banana, leave. So I'm doing something a bit strange this morning. Well, it won't be strange to most of you, but it's definitely strange to me. I'm going to a wedding dress shop. Now, I think you guys, I haven't really spoken much about getting married and our wedding. I'm not the usual bride. You guys know I'm not very girly, I'm not very bridey. And I've always just wanted a really relaxed wedding. I'm probably gonna be doing quite a few things differently, not because I think that the normal way is wrong, it's just what I like. I don't think, I mean, I won't be having bridesmaids. I'll have the little kids, but I won't be having kind of friends of mine and matching dresses. Probably won't have a cake because I don't ever eat the wedding cake and I don't know. We're saving money on places where we think is necessary. So I've always, I can't, I literally can't imagine me in a white wedding dress. It's probably the weirdest thing in the world. I'm literally like that bride who's like, does it come in black? So I've always thought 
maybe I'll just go to Selfridges and get a really nice designer dress because they're probably the same price if not cheaper because I feel like when you add the word wedding onto things they get seriously expensive and I cannot believe how expensive wedding dresses are I really didn't realize and it makes me feel a little bit sick to spend that much money on one day so the reason I'm explaining this to you because I drove past a wedding dress shop the other day in London and it said that they were having a huge sample sale today on Sunday so although one I feel like I'm really not ready obviously we have a venue but I'm not ready to be trying on dresses yet and the fact that I wanted to avoid going to a wedding dress shop first of all and look at other options first I'm now going to a wedding dress shop because there's a sample sale it's like a one-off full on like, there's always like a sample sale rack but this is like a full day and I feel like if I can get a really nice dress in the sale then I will I don't care if it's like the one that everyone's tried on you can get it dry cleaned and apparently a lot of the sample sizes are 12 anyway which is my size so I'm just gonna have a look I don't know I might not even end up trying any on if it's mental in there and there's like loads of crazy brides then I'm leaving I'm taking my mom and Debs she's like my I feel like all my friends and my sisters they all have very different what's the word talents and I know I'll be going to all of them for different things and advice and help and Debs is definitely the person who I she knows like my style and I really trust her opinion so I don't know I might not even try any on god I'm babbling this is how I feel about wedding dresses it's freaking me out people so I'm gonna go there I'm not gonna vlog it but I'll let you know how it goes it's a bit scary with samples because I think if you find the the one you have to buy it let's see how it goes we went to the wedding dress shop like I said and obviously there was like a queue of people there and so we put our name down and they said they'll call us it's about a two hour wait so we're gonna go walk around up street but I still haven't decided if I'm actually gonna go in there or not because I looked in the window and they're all like corseted like boned you know proper wedding dresses which isn't really what I'm looking for it's quite frustrating you can't go and have a look before you decide whether you want to wait or not so we're just gonna go we might go and see if we can walk into another wedding dress shop I think you have to make appointments for these things so we just went into a shop called home and pantry which is in Camden Passage in Islington it's so nice they've got all really nice home bits I bought some cards and my mum bought some really nice fake flowers that don't look fake and I also got a mirror for my office, so I'm pretty happy with that. We're now in um, Chipotle. Chipotle. Debs is here. And she inspired me to get a bowl rather than a burrito. And I think it was a good idea, because I didn't even finish that. With the wrap, it's just a bit, a bit much, really. Um, and for those of you who hate coriander, they do rice without coriander in. Debs, Debs knows her non-coriander stuff. We haven't had a phone call from the wedding dress shop yet, but we're going to walk back and see how many people are in front of me in the queue. And if it's too long, then I might not bother, because Rich is on his way back from Wales. He climbed Mount Snowdon with Alex and Lee Machines, and he happens to be quite near to where our puppy is, so he's bringing the puppy back. I'm so excited to meet her, and he's going to be back in like an hour, so... Okay, we came back to the shop, and apparently we were what? Sorry? We went into Mirror Mirror, which is the bridal shop, and it was quite interesting actually. It was very weird. I just feel like I was playing dress up. I just looked too... The dresses were too grown up for me and too formal, but it was good to know like what kind of waistline suits me and how high the neck and stuff. It's just it's so hard to find a dress that's special enough that you want to wear it to your wedding, but it doesn't look just too... It doesn't look too... Mm, what's the word? I don't know. Struggling to explain myself, but any casual brides out there might know what I mean. It's hard to find a dress that's right enough, good enough for a wedding that isn't like a wedding dress. So anyway, we're gonna head home now and meet the puppy. I'm so excited to meet this puppy. Rich has been in the car with this puppy and Alex, Victoria's boyfriend, for like five hours. And I think they've made a little bond, which is really cute. Um, I'm just so excited to meet her. I think her name is Juno. That's why we decided to call her little Juno. So I'll introduce you to her when Rich gets home. So we have a new member of the family. This is Juno. Juno, come back. Don't fall in the pond. Hey, come here. Come here. Look, come here. Stop eating the plants. Look how cute she is. Hey, oh, you like the string on my camera? Yeah, she did. She's very little and very sweet, and she's just exploring the garden. Oh, don't fall in the bed. Do you know? She doesn't really know her name yet.
the flat now and I'm just trying to give it a big tidy up because I haven't really been here much this weekend and it's a bit of a mess so just doing my tidying thing. Juno, or I think I think her name should be Juno because we're kind of used to calling her that now um, but my dad's not sure about it. She's very, very cute. She's, she didn't like bark or cry once the whole time I was there. She's very chilled, very inquisitive and curious and just really, really cute. So I'm looking forward to getting to know her. We have hardly anything in the fridge apart from some like random veg. So I'm making us soup. I've just cut up celery, carrots, courgette, onion, garlic. And I kind of just like fried them off a little bit. And then I added in bouillon, which is like a vegetable stock. I love this stuff. And some hot water. And then... Um, Jeez, you could definitely just eat it like that, but I'm actually gonna throw it in my Vitamix and kind of like zhuzh it up and it'll be all soft and creamy and it also makes it taste better. I don't know how this magic thing does that, but it definitely makes it taste better. This looks like gross baby food, but it's gonna be delicious. I'm gonna end my vlog now because X Factor's just started. We're gonna get comfy, watch X Factor. Hope you guys enjoyed this week's vlog and I will see you on Thursday. Ooh, Thursday's video is special. I filmed it yesterday and I'm really excited about it, so I hope you like it. Bye.